God is good. It is a pleasure to be back here at home, at the home church. I am truly grateful that God has given us an opportunity to worship this morning uh, at AIC Fellowship. Um, thank you very much for all you're doing, praying for our nation, and thank you for the message of prayer that we have listened to this morning. Pastor Samuel has implored on us to pray in a manner that we get results. And I want to thank God that he's answered our prayers as a nation. We prayed for rain last year, and God has given us rain in season. We want to thank God. We prayed for many things, and God has answered us in many ways. And I'm truly grateful that uh, I join you this morning, truly blessed uh, for the moments that we share together this morning and uh, for the journey that we have as a nation. Let me just say two, uh, two things. One, um, this church is known as a church of mission. And uh, you have missionaries across uh, Kenya and in many other places. Uh, Pastor Samoe has informed me that uh, you now have uh, a burden for a mission to West Pokot, East Pokot actually, in Tiati. And I want to say that is a befitting mission. We are, as government, we are doing the best we can with our security men and all the other things that we are doing, but there is what is physical and there is that which is spiritual. And we can do so much with weapons and security men, but there is that which cannot be achieved unless we have a spiritual encounter. Therefore, I'm asking the church that you are properly aligned. We're going to support you. Uh, I know um, uh, I have been informed that there is a LED screen that you are looking for. I think that you will look for the LED screen. I'm going to support you to do the mission in theater. Those ones, they have not even heard the word of God, let, let alone uh, looking for an LED screen. So, um, and added on to that mission, the mission in Tiati, and uh, I will speak to uh, the people responsible for it later on how we can put together the resources for us to be able to undertake that mission, because it is an important mission to uh, speak the word of God, I have seen behind me here, you have said that to know Christ and to make him known. So that we not only know Christ, but we also make other people also know Christ. And therefore that mission is a befitting mission. I will add on to that mission, I know the mission team here. Um, I was in a country a, a day ago in West Africa where they desperately need the word of God. In this country, uh, the president of that country walked with me um, and he showed me as we walked, he said, oh, you see that group there? Those people, they don't believe in God. They believe in something else. They are called animists. And then later I met some missionary sisters from Kenya in that country. It's called Guinea-Bissau. And they told me, our brother, Mr. President, please implore on other Kenyans to send missionaries to this country because many people 
still worship idols. And therefore, that is a burden I hand over to you. And uh, I know it's a difficult one because you have to learn Portuguese first before you can uh, do what you have to do. But I want to tell uh, the church here, please, it is a burden that has been put on our shoulders and we will support the missionaries who will go to Guinea-Bissau also as we support those who go to Tiati so that we can make Christ known as we know him. Um, finally, let me uh, thank all of you for praying for us. Um, we, are, we are witnessing the favor of God in our country as we journey through our uh, journey as a nation. Um, the farmers are doing the best they can. God has blessed us with rain. It is our intention that we grow food in Kenya and we reduce on imports to our country because I know it's, uh, when God promises us to give us rain in season, it means that we use that rain to feed ourselves and to reduce on what we import from other countries. Let me also say, traveling across uh, this globe, that to tell my fellow countrymen and women that we are a special nation. We are a great nation. We are a blessed nation. Kenya is a blessed nation. I can say that with a lot of confidence. And it is our responsibility to make it greater as, as we work together to make this nation be the nation that we all want it to be, a greater nation that we founded. And each and every one of us has a contribution to make, to make this nation great. I know we have a situation in Kenya with our doctors and interns. I want to implore on them that it is important for us as a nation to agree that we must live within our means. We must live within our means, fellow countrymen and women. We cannot continue to spend the money we don't have. In fact, two very fundamental things are happening shortly. Number one, we are going to have a conference on the 15, 16, and 17 in Kenya so that we can discuss our wage bill as a nation. Because we are spending 1.1 trillion shillings every year to pay salaries and wages of the 2.2 of the 2.2 trillion we collect it is way above what we should be spending we are spending 47% our wage bill is 47% of our revenues it should be 35% according to the law. So we are way above. So we need a conversation so that those of us who earn salary must be responsible and we can progressively reduce our wage bill so that we can free more resources to create jobs for our young people, to make sure that we can fund our health care, to fund our education, to fund our development. That is a conversation we must have as a nation. Number two, um, about 10 days ago, I called the whole of government and we agreed that we must live within our means. We're going to reduce our budget from 4.2 trillion down to 3.7 trillion so that we can live within our means. You know what? The Bible says in 
John 8, 32. You shall know the truth. And the truth will do what? Will set you free. We must be honest with ourselves. We must tell each other the truth. And the truth is, we must live within our means. We cannot continue to borrow money, to pay salaries, to borrow money, to, be, uh, to do things. We must begin to live within our means. And I am telling uh, our friends, the doctors, that we mind about them, we value the, the service they give to our nation, but we must live within our means. The resources we have are only sufficient to pay 70,000 shillings for intern uh, doctors. It is not a salary, it is a stipend for only one year, and then they will be employed. And we want all our doctors, all our doctor interns, to be taken in, and that is why we are going to spend the resources that we have to make sure all the 1,500 plus or minus doctors, all of them are absorbed at once, and we have the resources to make sure that they are absorbed at what we have offered as government, because as a nation, we must live within our means. And we are going to have a bigger conversation as Kenyans, so that when the Bible says that a responsible father leaves an inheritance for their children, we as Kenyans, we should not leave debt to our children. We should leave an inheritance <laughs> to our children. And so I am very confident that as a country, we are going to make the right decisions. And I promise you that I will always speak the truth to our nation. Because in speaking the truth to our nation, we will be free as a nation from the yoke of debt and expenditure that we cannot afford. When I told the nation last year that we, we, we cannot sustain subsidies, many people thought I did not think correctly. But we got rid of subsidies. We instead funded our production. Today, we are seeing the fruits that we have food in our country. The prices of food items have come down. Our dollar situation has improved. Even fuel situation has improved because we have made the right decisions. I will continue the path of making the right decisions for our country because you can never be wrong if you make the right decisions. They may not be popular, they may not be easy, but the right decisions will always prevail and we will get our country where we want to go. Very important for us to produce enough food, to create jobs for our young people, to make sure that each one of us can go to hospital, get treated, and not sell their properties, and make sure that Kenya is a country that leaves nobody behind. So I am happy to be in this congregation this morning, and uh, just to confirm to you that we are on course in making sure that Kenya becomes that great country that we all want it to be. So, asanteni sana kwa kunikaribisha hapa nyumbani. Sisi wote ambao ni wakulima, tufanye bidi, tukimaliza, tukivuna mahindi, tupande sunflower, vile mulifanya mwaka huu, Ndiyo tuwanze kupunguza ile maneno ya kuimpote eh, edible oil Na tuweze kusafiri safari moja kama wa Kenya I am very proud of this nation It is a great nation It is a blessed nation Asanteni sana Na watakia baraka ya mungu Na 
to Taona Naibi Karibuni. Thank you very much. God bless you. In, uh, I have uh, my wife Rachel is here, our Salumie. And I have uh, my daughter Mia, she's there. Asante Sana. We came, uh, they traveled with me and they, they came with me this morning. And of course, we have our senator and our member of parliament there, Wainaina and uh, Mandago. Asante Sana, God bless you. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. As we come to the end of our service, um, I want us to close with a word of prayer and that you are home, Your Excellency. As your home church, we want to pray for you today. And I want to ask our pastors to come. We have our elder, Professor Kibor. Would you please come kindly? Um, please come. Um, as your pastor, Your Excellency, let me ask you once again to come. We pray for you with Mama. Yeah, please, let's go this way. Again. Let's all stand and stretch our hands as we pray for. Let us, let us pray. <clears throat> Precious Lord, in the quietness of this morning, we want to thank you so much for the message that has come to us and the power of prayer. We want to thank you, Lord God, for the nation of Kenya. It's you, Lord God, who created it, and you created us as well. Everything that we have comes from you, Lord God. You have endowed your people with gifts to lead, to farm, and to do all that is needed. We thank you for the encouraging words that we have just received from our president, Lord. We want to thank you, Lord God, for the country of Kenya. We thank you for the doctors as well, Lord, that uh, you've given to us. And you have given them the gifts, Lord God, to be able also to assist those who need assistance. We pray, Lord God, for wisdom on the part of the government, for wisdom and discernment also on the part of the doctors. We pray, Lord God, that we will join hands as a nation, Lord God, so that Kenya will be great. As people who have traveled around, they have seen how these other countries are. And we normally, when we go out, come back home, we rejoice because of what is happening here. Help us, Lord God, not to take just for granted. And most of all, Lord God, we want to thank you for this church. We thank you for all the pastors in this church. We thank you, Lord God, for you've given us the work of reaching out to those who have not been reached to the good news of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the work of missions. We've been challenged even this morning to think of Teati uh, um, uh, um, and as well as where the, 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 the Guinea Bissau where uh, we've been informed as well, Lord God. Languages are there. There are missionaries who have gone and learned languages, even those who came to us. We pray, Lord God, that if it's your will, you will touch also lives of young people to reach out. We know that missionaries came from the West but now, Lord God, even uh, move us so that we may also reach uh, out from this church and other churches, Lord God. Thank you again for all that you have done for us and all that you will do for us. May you be glorified in all, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.